Look, I'll just cut straight to it. You saw the title, I signed a book deal. Good news, I'm here signing my official contract for the cookbook. I so I'm not sure. What's up? Oh! New day, I've got a new cake. Doesn't this look so good? You guys, I just had to come back and look. Look at it all cracked open. Does this not look so good? I am really, really happy with how this turned out. So I think I'm gonna give up. Okay, so I've been working on this cake all day and this is my last attempt. And while it's fluffy and the flavor is so perfect and good, it is, it just couldn't sustain its own weight. Uh, guys, this is attempt, Five. how many of, no, Four. this is probably attempt 10 oh. overall of these. There's a lot of batter that I've thrown away. Had some mishaps mm -hmm. with the frosting. Honestly, I have to make two more things today and it's almost four o'clock and I might just go back to bed. <laughs> this kappa is coming for you. <laughs> it's the long boy. <laughs> the longest sponge of all. Okay, you guys, look at all this food finally done. Lord have mercy. You might be wondering why this big bag is here filled with a bunch of alcohol. It's because game night's happening. I'll keep it short, simple, to the point. The cookbook is done. <sighs> I'm really, really excited to say that I finally have my cookbook in hand. That's a hardback, baby. That's nice and crispy, straight out of the printer. Um, you guys know Longtime viewers know I've been working on this cookbook for a while now, and um, since 2020, actually, the beginning of 2021? What are we in? 2022? When did I start working on this? 2021, I think, because we were in the height of COVID and it was a bad time for everyone. Um, and this is what got me through being trapped in Japan with COVID. Well, I didn't have COVID, but with COVID going on and I have poured my heart and my soul into this book and so I'm really really excited to show it to you guys and just take you on a little book tour for a second um, because I want to show you guys what I accomplished um, in large part thanks to you guys who kept watching my videos and kept making my, I don't know, just giving me views and stuff like that and helping me attract the attention of other people who could give me these opportunities. So, um, this is the book. It's called Bake Anime. Uh, this is a photo that my friend Hannah took on the front. Hannah, thank you very much. And it's surrounded by this beautiful illustration from the illustrator that the uh, publishing company hired. On the back, we have one of my recipes, which are Totoro cream puffs filled with apple cream. It's like apple whipped cream basically um, on the inside and we have a little descriptor of what's in the book um, that's my name right there baby and this is the side it is a gorgeous beautiful book I'm very very proud of it I worked really really hard on it everything I wrote everything anything that's in in this anything that's written down that's all me um, I had an editor go over it of course which the um, publishing company that's like what they do you get an editor to like look at it um, also inside that's totally mine are all the photographs so please please be nice to me because I am not a professional photographer it just worked out that it would be easier for me to take my own pictures so I go through some of these photos and I look at them and I'm like that's hideous that's ugly you know any of that I did some like light photoshop to work on the values of some of the pictures and make them better and I'm like oh it looks awful so please just be nice to me okay I'm my own worst critic and there's a lot about this that I wish I could change but I, that sounds so downer, I probably, I really shouldn't say that because I'm trying to promote the book here. It's a beautiful book. I mean, I, I worked so hard on all of this, on the writing, on the images, on the, on everything, um, any of the, uh, illustrations inside, I had input on all of that. Um, like, I just worked really, really hard on this book, and, um, 
and I really, really hope that you guys like it, and I hope that you are as excited as I am about it, despite any flaws that, that might exist. Again, you're your own worst critic, so I, I look at it and I see all the stuff I wish I could change, but for what it is, it's a very, very beautiful book, and I just put everything into it. I want to show you a couple recipes that I really, really like. One of these recipes is for Christmas pudding, which is straight from Ancient Mage's Bride. Um, it is featured in that anime. And I was literally cleaning out my shoe closet and I found this exact same Christmas pudding in my shoe closet because, pro tip, you can, you can keep them. You can keep them and you can store them for like a year and they don't go bad. So I recently found mine, the exact same one that I used in this photo with the slice missing is in my shoe cupboard right now. But yeah, I went to such great lengths to find really good recipes that I hoped you guys would enjoy. Uh, in some cases I made my own, in some cases I took really popular recipes from the internet and tried to streamline it and make it as simple as possible. Things like, we have some like thumbprint jam cookies, right? These kind of cookies, you've seen them before, they're just like shortbread cookies with thumbprints in them. They're not like the hardest recipe in the world to, like I didn't have to invent anything in particular, but I was just really looking to give you guys the recipe that would be most commonly found in Japan, um, that probably like animators are eating when they are also, you know, using that as a reference to animate food or to illustrate food. Um, and so we just have a lot in here. We have stuff from Food Wars. This is of course the four layer semifredo. Um, we have another Food Wars, item which was so fun to make but such a pain in this recipe this is for the um the bouche de noel and in this recipe there are 25 steps you need to take <laughs> to complete this recipe so i just went above and beyond it is a book that is split into sorry this is a very like weird introduction to the book but it's split into three parts. Part one is Japanese desserts, part two is non-Japanese desserts, and part three are anime-inspired desserts. So desserts that you wouldn't necessarily find in an anime, but are inspired by an anime. And in front of each section, I talk a little bit about the significance of these kinds of desserts for Japanese, for Western, how you see them play out in Japan, um, just to help give you a little bit of context and so you can maybe like learn a little bit about it because I'm so passionate about this. To start the whole thing, I have this giant essay, which I didn't realize it was this long. No one told me that it was a four page essay um, until literally I got the final PDF version of this and I was like, oh, this is four pages. Why did no one tell me we could have cut that down? And I told my editor, I was like, I'll sacrifice pages of this giant essay at the beginning of the whole cookbook for more pictures. And he was like, no, it's a good essay. You should leave it in. And I was like, okay, man, whatever. But yeah, we have just really gorgeous, gorgeous recipes, really yummy food. And um, I really hope that you guys can enjoy it. I really don't feel like I'm saying everything that I want to say about this because I, I am not. I'm just excited about it and I don't know what to say. I will say I... I'm really proud of myself. I, I really feel like for all of the things that I see about it that I wish I could change, I tried so hard. I've never worked on something so hard in my life and personally, this was the adventure of a lifetime. This is like a wish list, a dream for me to do and I'm really happy that I had this opportunity in large part thanks to Natasha Iglesias who approached me about this project in the first place uh, when she was still working for Simon & Schuster. And I've worked with amazing people since then on this book. I feel like I've grown so much as a recipe creator, a recipe collator, um, a photographer. I'm just really grateful that I got this opportunity and it's because of people that have been watching my channel for forever um, and who helped me to gain like a little bit of notoriety. Very little, very small amount. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really excited about this. If you haven't pre-ordered it, you can do so. Um, you can do so at any point. I'll leave links below. Uh, it's available on Amazon. It's available on other retailers' websites if you don't want to order through Amazon. Um, it's out officially November 8th. This is going to be an incredible Christmas gift or holiday gift of any kind if you're a gift-giving kind of person. So I'd really recommend it. I think it's retailing for $21.99 is what the back says. Um, so... 
affordable, not an insignificant amount of money, but it's not the most expensive thing in the world. And I hope that it will bring you a lot of joy and happiness and a lot of fun afternoon project time to work on this with your friends, you know, make a recipe or do something for yourself. Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say. Just thank you and I'm really excited for this. If you guys have any questions about the project, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them or maybe do a Q&A video later. Uh, I know this is a little bit, this kind of video is a little bit of a break from what I have been doing lately. I am going to be posting more video essays soon, uh, so be on the lookout for that. And that's the story. I think that's everything. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. Thank you to everyone who put their faith and their love and their trust into this book and in me. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I... I worked so hard on this and I just really hope that people pull something out of it that's joyful and happy and wonderful because that's really why I did this and, and really why I wanted to make something that would stick around and that people could use. Okay, I could keep going, but I'm going to cut myself off there. <laughs> you guys are great. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for your love and your support and your cheers from the sidelines. I'll see you guys later. Bye.